everyone welcome back to an informative session of guest for literature today we are going to discuss about the life and work of louise gluck i hope you all know who she is before getting into the session if you are not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe as well as click on the bell icon and enable all option so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video 2020 Nobel Prize in Literature is awarded to the American poet Louise Gluck for her unmistakable poetic voice that with arch of beauty makes individual existence universal. Louise Gluck was born in 1943 in New York and lives in Cambridge. Apart from her writings, she is a professor of English. at Yale University New Haven she made her debut in 1968 with First Born and was soon acclaimed as one of the most prominent poets in American contemporary literature she has received several prestigious awards such as the Pulitzer Prize in 1993 and the National Book Award In 2014, Gluck has published a 12 collection of poetry and some volumes of essays on poetry. All are characterized by a striving for clarity, childhood and family life. The close relationship with parents and sibling is a thematic that has remained central in her. In her poems, the self listening for what is left of its dream and delusions and nobody can be harder than she is confronting the illusions of the self. But even if Gluck could never deny the significance of the autobiographical background she is not to be regarded as a confessional poet Gluck seeks the universal and in this she takes inspiration from myths and classical motifs present in most of her works the voice of Dido O Persephone and Eurydice the abandoned the punished the betrayed or mask of a self in trans- transformation as personal as it is universally valid with the collections like the triumphs of azilus in 1985 and ararat in 1990 gluck found a growing audience in usa and abroad in ararat three characteristics unity to subsequently recurring in her writing the topic of family life austere intelligence and a refined sense of composition that mark the book as a whole gluck has also pointed out that in these poems she realizes how to employ ordinary diction in her poetry the deceptively natural tone is striking we encounter almost brutally straightforward images of painful family relationships it is candid and compromising with no trace of poetic ornament it reveals much about her own poetry within her essay gluck cites the urgent tone in iliad the art of inward listening in keats or the volunteer silence of george open but in her unwillingness to accept the simple tenets of faith she resembles more than any other poet emily dickinson Gluck is not only encaged by the arisenness and shifting condition of life she is also a poet of radical change and rebirth where leap forward is made from a deep sense of loss in one of her more lauded collection the wild iris from which she was awarded the pulitzer prize she described the miraculous return of life after the winter in the poem snowdrops Thank you all for listening till the time we meet next stay tuned to quest for literature keep reading and know the world